What's up? My name is Dan McDonald and we are going to make another lemon ginger blast. I only have like seven or eight recipes. I eat the same thing every day. It's so boring. I wouldn't know what to do and I'm not really that creative on Instagram and stuff and that fad is over anyways. People are sick of food, but it can be medicine if you're overweight and have all these diseases and stuff and you want to clear out your colon so that your brain works better and you clean out your colon and then you clean up your in external environment and get everything organized. Until then, you have a pack rat colon with 47 years of cheeseburgers and stuff sitting in there, then that's manifesting itself into your reality. So you're trying to clean your colon to clear your mind, to clear your environment, and to simplify your life. So simplifying the diet and, and keeping that from being too built up, packed up, and backed up, and clogged up, and constipated on the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual levels. So we're working for the highest high. Can you dig it? The lemon ginger blast will help get you there. Eight apples, two cucumbers, one lemon, one head of celery, one bundle of fennel, one bundle of mint, one bundle of cilantro, a big old hub of ginger, and today using a nice ripe red jalapeno. And don't forget the arugula, the bundle of arugula. So let's get started here, folks. We'll start with these beautiful, fresh cucumbers. Just got back from the market, got everything at the market except the apples. Apples do not grow in Hawaii. I mean, they do, but not. it's not something that people grow regularly. They do better in like Washington, Oregon. Uh, there's some, some really good apples in uh, Arizona, actually. They're a lot smaller, though. I prefer the Washington organic Fuji's fresh off the tree in the fall, which is coming right around the corner. These are like last season's apples. But a lemon ginger blast without a couple of uh, Fuji apples is not a lemon ginger blast. Can you dig it? So my deal right now is just heavy on the juice, man. Two, three, four juices a day keeps the doctor away, basically. Keeps the health up, keeps the energy up. Uh, like I said on the last kid, I'm a little bit, I don't like the word exhausted, but I've had the gnarliest workout yesterday. A 10 mile hike up the side of a mountain that was incredibly challenging. And so my legs, my butt, because it's mostly sometimes the stabilizers going down, but it was also going up this rock face, slippery, muddy rocks. You're holding on to these, you know, 20 year old ropes. I mean, it's no wonder nobody makes it to the top, but I made it to the top yesterday because I had to face that fear and it was intense, man, real intense. And so my whole body's ripped and I'm a little bit like sleepy because then I got to bed a little bit early last night, you know, but then I got up at 2.30 this morning. And so hopefully tonight I get to bed early and I'm gonna allow myself to sleep in. I can kind of program my mind for when I want to wake up and whatnot. I could use a really, really deep good night's sleep. So I might even eat something tonight as a matter of fact, because sometimes when I eat, it helps me to sleep a little bit more. But when you're juicing, you don't really need to um, sleep as much. And when you're um, fasting, when you first start water fasting, you usually sleep a lot because the adrenals and the stimulation, but then towards the latter end of a water fast, sometimes you only sleep like one hour a night. You just don't need it. And that's what teaches you like, oh, the reason why I sleep so much is because I eat so much. And the less that you eat, the less sleep you need. Uh, but I've never been an advocate of like, get less sleep, it makes you more spiritual or anything like that. I'm like, no, you sleep. This world is insane and you need that battery recharge time. Because what that does is you get out of the conscious mind and then it allows your subconscious to, um, you know, regenerate itself and, and reset the, all the physical systems, the emotional system, the mental system. You know, and also just a spiritual battery recharge is what sleep is. So I'm never like, oh, get less sleep or whatever. I'm like, get as much sleep as you can, bro, and take a nap in the middle of the day if you can. I, I can never nap. I don't really like to nap, to be honest with you, because I like to just, even if I 
I'm exhausted after like traveling or whatever and I'm sleepy. I just stay awake anyway, so that way when it comes time to go to sleep at night, it's like boom, you're out, you're done, you're gone, you're, you know, and then you get kind of reset. You take a nap, then you might be like, then you might be up till midnight or one again, you know, and not getting to bed early, you know. Hell man, I like to go to bed at like eight o'clock, get up at like two or three, can you dig it? And I'm done with my work day by like nine, nine a.m. <laughs> Then I can do what I really love to do, which is just go out in nature, harvest wild food. Um, you know, I take my time to make these juices and put them in the fridge so that they're there in between like adventures. So I'll cruise around, hit the springs, go for a hike, go for a bike ride, go to the gym. Then I s s stop back in the home here um, and I'll, uh, slam a juice and then head out, you know, again. Most of the time I've got like a truckload of coconuts, so I don't even really need to return back here to, to liquid up, you know. The liquid hydration lifestyle, like, I don't know, man. All I care about is hydration. Don't get me wrong, I love carbs, proteins, and fats, you know, but um, nothing's more important to me. At, that's, at this stage of my life, because of the fact that we, as we get older, more mature is a better way to say it, um, more seasoned, wiser. <laughs> as we get wiser, um, we get, you know, our tissues get less and less hydrated because the water sucks, the food's all cooked, it's all processed, not for me, but I'm trying to, because I've had a lot of people that they just struggle with processed food. Now me, I don't even know what the hell it's like to go get a fast food cheeseburger. I just do not rem remember that. I'm not trying to be judgmental either, because I get it, like, don't get me wrong. Nobody's been more addicted to more crap than I have. My whole life has been about getting sober of everything, because the more sober that you get, the better your life is. And then pretty soon it's like, oh, I drank too much juice. And you start, or you're like, oh my God, salt, it's terrible, you know? It's too salty, even a little bit of salt. So you get your, you just want, the, you want simplicity, and you want this stabilization of the physical body and a rhythm of sleeping and not eating too much, and not eating too little, um, and, you know, the right amount of fitness, not too much, not too little, like today I'm ripped. My legs are ripped. And like I was saying, it's, it's almost on the way down that makes it to where it's like you have to use a lot more stabilizer muscles when you're coming down. And when you're barefoot, you gotta be real careful because if you slip and you're barefoot and you hit the wrong thing, your toe, the bottom of your foot, it's some kind of root, will go right to the bottom of your foot. You don't have time to misstep. So you have to be very, um, very aware of your footing and you have to use your stabilizer muscles in a very profound way, actually. Uh, and so today my leg muscles are ripped and uh, I don't, I mean, I'm like a little bit like mellow. Like, hey, what's up, man? Like I could, I could feel like I could take a nap because that was intense. And the main thing, the most intense part of it was the fear. And that's the reason why I went and did it. I actually made a video about it. It was before this one in the queue. I'm just making videos, videos, videos. I know my style, so it's just gonna have to be DTM fans that feed my little belly for now because I am starting to get a little more Google AdSense. We are growing the channel a little bit here, so thank you for that. Um, but I don't have a real system of like, you know, hey everyone, it's Dr. Berg, and today we're gonna to take four minutes to talk about the benefits of vitamin D or whatever. And then he goes on Google and he writes out it on the whiteboard, and then I'm more like, I just talk about what's going on, and I channel, and I'm like, all these people are suffering, nobody's happy. Not, not, I, well, I can't say that, you know, but I mean, like, listen though, I ain't gonna lie. The boy's been through it, okay? 
Now, it ha just so happens that because of the new understanding of all things, through many, many different inquiries and practices and consistency over time, and also my own super struggles with everything under the sun and becoming more aware of my own unconscious bullcrap, you know, I'm having... I'm at a really good phase, and I think it's. I think that I'm about to enter into a new season of peace and happiness and success. Just because I all the things that I used to be tripping on, I just ain't tripping no more. Because I'm like, listen, man, the whole thing is one big insane illusion. I was taking the illusion way too seriously, bro. Now I just gotta chill out. Because it's cool. Like, I can just do this. I get the videos. You know, I get the consults. People can dig the enzymes. You know what I'm saying? They clean out their colon. They get rid of the mold. They get rid of the fungus. They get rid of the parasites. It gets a little bit better. Then they can start dealing with their emotions. They can start meditating, doing some yoga, getting fit, simplifying their lives. Just rejuvenation, regeneration life regenerator like figured it out a long time ago and I got I know people that are rich they got a lot of money and I'm telling you man health and peace of mind is priceless when you have all that money when your ass is retired and you sick with some kind of chronic disease because you didn't pay attention to what was really going on you were focused on the money because that was how we got programmed in our society but you neglect everything else, you out of balance. And so there's a lot of people with a lot of money because there's a lot of money, but man, there is a shortage of happiness and peace. Ain't there? There is a shortage of people understanding what in the hell is going on in this world and how we're letting all these politics and low vibration, we're allowing all this crap to continue, the sound of freedom. We're allowing this stuff to continue the stuff in the sky, we're allowing that to continue. Like, hey, we're a bunch of cockroaches. And we're collectively, we're too mentally lethargic to look up in the sky and take two seconds and ask ourselves, what in the hell is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Those contrails are very interesting because there's like a break. And then you start to go, wait a minute, you know what I'm saying? And it's like collectively, but collectively we have not but yet, what else have, has been going on? Like, how could you let what happened happen in 2020 with viruses and stuff like that? Like, how could we let that happen? I didn't let it happen to me, not even for one second. Not even for one second, because I know the game so very, very well. And we had a counter for every single person that fell to that so-called condition that was happening. But it wasn't. It wasn't real. So, anyways. It wasn't real, man. So, <laughs> I saw a meme today. We're all in this psyop together. <laughs> I thought that was, that's, that's a funny, because that's funny, because that's, that's what it is, man. We're all in this together. It's like, we're all in this psyop together. You know? And, you know, it's the rare individual. It is the rare individual. And the reason is, is because of what's in the food. And what's in the water. And what's on the TV. But the, what's in the food, what's in the processed food, is very, very physiologically, biologically, much you know, involved in conscious and deliberate dumbing down of cognitive function through the destruction of, you know, basic cellular biology and those antagonistic disruptors. Every kind of disruptor for the functionality of the tissues in your body, but also in your brain. 
and all those fats and sugars and everything that numbs the system and weakens it and blocks up the flow of the nervous system so that the brain could be more receptive and the whole system could energetically be more receptive to the field of energy and consciousness which contains all knowledge and information which is inside of every one of us but if our antenna is rusty or if any of the subsystems along the way from some of the more original glands in the brain and other sensitive organs if those are shut down due to the quality of air that you breathe even that's where it begins that's where it truly begins, is when the acids in the air start to shut down these sensitive glands in the brain when you're breathing in all that soot. And those acids accumulate just through the breath alone. So that's why when people, they like, never drank, never smoked a day in his life. Well, did you live in a city? And that's why in the city, that's where all the people go insane, all the rednecks, all the domestic terrorists are out in nature, you know, yeah, they're hunting and fishing and all that stuff, but they're breathing fresh air and they're in tune with nature in their own way. And then you go to the city and it's like, I just had coffee this morning, a bagel. I haven't taken my shoes off or touched grass in like nine years. And I get all my news from the view. And I worship Whoopi Goldberg because she's a genius, right? And you're like, Whoopi Goldberg and Bill Gates. You know, these other people, man, they are like, they're not all there. <laughs> so we follow these movie stars, but we don't know who they are. We do know what they do. For sure, dude. And we know what club they're part of. And I'm telling you, man, my club is better. My, is, I'm in the God Club. I'm in the Nature Club. They can go and have the Satan Club if they want. But they're weak. They're weak and unhappy because they're vibrating at a level that makes it impossible to experience joy. But if you juice and you go out and you stand on the grass and your whole blood system changes because of the effects of what happens when you stand in the electromagnetic field of the earth and then everyone's got the shoes walking on the concrete and they just get sicker and sicker. And I'm trying to tell these people, man, that I love so much with all my heart, but you've got to live in nature, bruh. I'm not saying I can't handle it, but I'll tell you, like, I'm real smart because even when I lived in New York City, bro, you know my ass was in Prospect Park every day of my life with my shoes off, even in the middle of winter. Because I ain't stupid. But it's our separation, brothers and sisters, from nature. It's killing us. Can you dig it? So, and, and when I was, I was saying it, in the cities, when you're living in the city, man, that is when you lose your mind. And that is when you dye your hair blue or green and go to these stupid protests and you get sucked into every dumb, you know, push for every ridiculous thing. You donate your money to all these causes and then you find out later, oh, those people didn't give one single penny to a black person anywhere ever. Millions and millions, probably billions of dollars donated to black people. But guess what? Not a black person got a penny. Oh, I mean, you know, except for the black people that bought all the houses. You know what I'm talking about. So we are getting scammed. And when are we going to wake up? When is the collective going to go, wait a minute. Remember last 300 times this happened? It was a ripoff. And, but they, I don't know, I guess there's a sucker born every second. I don't fall for any of that crap, man. I don't give my money to no charities like that because they're like children's hospital. Get rid of leukemia. It's like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get rid of leukemia, bro. Because they gave you that on purpose. You see what I'm saying? Like, 
sickness is a part of a conscious intentional plan and if you don't know that you just might be imbibing see this is like serious conspiracy hour right but guess what even if you don't believe what i'm saying it's still true though see what i'm saying because it's true because it's been going on for more than a century consciously but even before that the energy was always there Dumb down the peasants. Keep control of the peasants. And But it really became a strong and conscious volitional plan to use food, mostly food. I don't mean to be like food, 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 because food really is a byproduct of other deeper issues of consciousness. Food is a symptom, like bad food choices is a symptom of something else going on deeper within you. So if you explore the food thing, you may come up on the emotional, mental, spiritual thing. If you, if you look at the food thing long enough, any art, science, or skill taken to perfection will lead back to the one. And then everything else will make sense too with your diet, with your relationships. You're like, oh, I got to be on point with myself if I'm going to be on point with someone else. I need to be on point with myself if I'm going to get healthy and be healthy, you know, because honesty and truth is the only way to thrive because truth is the only way to have any power. And so if you're deluding yourself and staying, trying to stay unconscious, you know, you'll never have any true power. And then you'll never have any true success. You may get lucky for a minute or two, but it won't last. That's like the lottery syndrome. The people win the lottery, but then they're more broke, more sad, and their family hates them. And now they're strung out on coke and they have no money left because they, that wasn't in their frequency. So you gotta slowly raise your frequency. You don't wanna have any quantum leaps necessarily because then you'll get blasted back down if it isn't a true shift from within doing the true work. I'm not saying though that you can't have um, quantum leaps that do last. There is karmic propensity for that in certain circumstances, but for us mere mortals, it's really good to devise a plan that is step by step, one day at a time, one minute at a time, one second at a time, to change your life, to change your frequency, to become aware of what you're thinking, to become aware of what you're feeling, to become aware of what you're eating, to become aware of what you're consuming, um, music-wise, movie-wise, book-wise, information-wise, the news, I mean, I haven't watched TV in decades, but still, when I do go, to, I went to the gym, and I'm like, I just, all I gotta do is look up, and I see the drug ads, and I get the whole sense of why everyone is like that, because they see those drug ads, and I'm like, the first two sessions, or the first two doses of this thingamajigger that they take for, what, for inflammation, and then you'll have a thing every six months, you know, it's like, but it'll never address the real cause of the inflammation, which is your own inner conflict. That's really what inflammation is about. It's about the divine energy rubbing against the ego energy, you know? And it's a resistance to it. Instead of allowing the divine to flow through you, there's always this resistance to it, and that, of course, is gonna cause inflammation, but who knows that? Nobody that I know of. But I've been through so much stuff with all this fasting and praying and meditating and reading and educating and thinking, contemplating, like, what the hell is really going on from my own experience? Because I know everybody on the internet is a master and they have found their level. But I'm not, I'm just not like that because I see the top of the mountain. So. I saw a video the other day from a really cool influencer that I actually like, but he's like, you can't follow somebody who's still on a journey, on a healing journey. But I'm like, I don't know, man. It depends on what you mean by healing. Like, yeah, do I have any diseases? No. Do I take any drugs? No. Do I take any pharmaceutical drugs? No. Do I have any health problems? No. 
but that doesn't mean I'm not on a journey. I'm still on a journey because I'm aware though of the non-linear aspects of the nature of reality. And I'm very interested in seeing that potential arise in this experience. Why not? I was exposed to that knowledge, but those are more of the spiritual non-linear realms that go beyond like, hey, look, I look good on the outside. I'm healthy. I don't have any diseases. That's the end game. I got money. I got a relationship. And um, I, I look good on the outside or whatever. But it's like, it could, there's more than that, though. There really is. Like, yes, we all want to look good. We want to have a good relationship. We want to have money. We want to have a nice place to live. We want to have a nice car, whatever. That's a given. But there is another level of ecstasy which can be felt. I'm not saying that you should chase ecstasy, but I'm talking about... Because ecstasy will also need to be uh, surrendered as well to reach the peace, the real peace. And wouldn't it be nice to have peace? If you had a lifetime of war, as your boy DTM has, you're looking at peace and you're like, okay, if I can get that, so what do I gotta do? Meditate, stand on my head, you know, drink cucumber juice until it's coming out of my ears. I mean, stand on one foot, chant the name. I mean, what do I gotta do? I'll do it. Peace sounds good to me. And then I realize that it's already there and it's a matter of simply letting go of non-peace. So that's gotten a lot easier because at first I was like, I gotta do all this stuff. But then I was like, so in other words, the, the purpose of all practices is to be able to give up all practices. You see what I'm saying? So that you can actually learn what you really are, have that experience, and then there's like, oh, I don't need to do anything. I just need to be what I am which is the greatest expression that you could possibly be and the greatest gift that you can give the world is to be your authentic self. Which today, honestly, I, I feel like at this moment, I'm probably the most authentic Dan McDonald life regenerator that I've ever been on this video right now because of the nature of this internal process that I'm going through, making it to where it's like, yes, you guys are my therapists, but also at the same time, I'm thinking this has got to help some people, man, because I do the consults every day, and these are smart people. Like, everybody that calls me is smart, and many of them are extremely successful on many levels, you know? Um, but then, then again, everyone has their dysfunction, and what we're trying to find is super-duper harmony with God and an embodiment of the truth, and so an embodiment of, like, so you're right in the center instead of well I got all the I can say all the right words and I have a social media and I say all the right words and on the outside I make it look like to my community that it's all good but inside you know my husband and I are like thinking about murdering each other every night you know or we're miserably going insane or we can't stop eating this shit garbage. We know better. We, we did these fasts and we did all these things. And then that was back when we were younger and then something changed and we just can't get back there anymore. We can't get back to like, and we're eating all this weird stuff, you know? And so it's really getting it. We all go through phases, you know, but it's just really trying to do your best to get it embodied. Three magnificent and perfect hordes of lemon ginger blast. So I am here to try my best to help people in any way that I can. That's how it started. And it's more real now. It's not so much this little stuff, which is nice. I don't want to put, I'm not putting anyone down. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm never gonna want to do that. Everyone is where they're at. I got to give these a quick rinse before I, they just, all of them have their own unique smell. It's just that I don't use soap that often. I just clean them, but the soap does get rid of the, uh, but I'm just going to rinse because it's like one of them smells like basil from the last juice. Another one smells like, uh, that's, that's pretty damn clean. Again, you know, I mean, I'm being a little paranoid. <laughs> they each have a little teeny tiny 
their own subset smell from the juice in it before because I didn't use soap on these. I just kind of want the soap residues in there either because that'll shrink up my testicles. Okay, can you dig it? This guy's paranoid. Don't use soap. But no, I'm telling you, man, the, you know how you're eating healthy? Is when you, uh, when you can rinse your dishes with uh, water and they come clean. See what I'm saying? That's the water solubility. If you got to use soap and scrub it, you're not eating clean. That's so that's the residue. So that's a real trip, man. You know what I'm saying? Like salads and lemons and uh, you know nuts rinse right off there. You know what I'm saying? Coconut almond yogurt rinses right off. You know apple slices, salad. But if you got some fried chicken with like or or like spaghetti and meatballs. And it's just stuck there on the pan and you've got the grease and you've got the acrylamides and everything that's all up in your grill that's all up in your bloodstream and you are going to be paying the price so you better do what i say damn it now i'm just saying like you try to eat clean man then your body it smells good everything else i don't know that even i should have probably stirred that up yeah, that's going to be better because sometimes you'll have different, you know, levels of, now it's stirred up. Now it's all balanced just by doing that. Three quarts of LGB, man. I, I don't get it as much as I used to only because the apples aren't local. So it's more of a special thing. It's not a money thing. I ain't tripping on that. It's just that I have this real intense um, relationship with consuming things that are freshly picked and local, you know? Uh, so I will have a less of a tendency. Everything else is local except the apples, you know? So I have this thing. So I, I do the lemon ginger glass like this once or twice a week. So I'm still getting my fair share of LGB, but it's not a daily thing anymore. But I do have this pineapple, cucumber, mint, cilantro, um, and basil with coconut water recipe that that's more of my that's my tropical blast you know what I'm saying because that one is local and it's very refreshing and that one I do more often I do the carrot apple beet cucumber celery lemon and ginger the beauty juice um, probably about the same amount of, that I do the lemon ginger blast and then mostly what I do is drink a bucket load of uh, coconut water. And what I'm gonna do next is actually make the coconut almond yogurt. That's gonna be the next video. I'm on a little marathon today because I'm like exhausted from that hike. But I'm up here, I'm not my normally chipper self. But uh, I'm gonna probably go lay in the sun and I'm gonna make some Gorilla Milk and some coconut almond yogurt for dinner. And then I'll take what's left over in the um, pitcher and I'll make a batch of the uh, Gorilla Milk. So I got that coming. And look at these amazing, look at these amazing, dude. Like, oh, I cannot get enough, man. That's one thing I love. I think pineapples make you taste better. Can you dig it? Keep your mind out of the gutter, boy. No, I mean, sex energy is awesome but being a pervert is not, you know what I'm saying? So like sexual energy, you know, that's really, um, that's really channeled. Ooh, cause I'm feeling it, man. Like, but I'm learning to channel it. So I'm like, I allow myself to be charged up and have that energy there. But then if I think, well, do I want to act on that? No, I don't, you know, I want one wife and that's it. We're living in harmony with the stable thing, which is a new thing for me, but I'm saying I just had to grow up eventually and I feel it like God is changing me, you know? God will change you if you let it. Word. Oh, that jalapeno is popping. That ginger, woo, man. That, I always, I say it's on every video, don't I? That's the best thing we did for bullets I've ever had. You better believe me, damn it. No, but this is, this is really top tier. This is really, a really nice balance of all the 
fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Thank you everyone for watching these videos. My Google AdSense is like doing good. The subscriptions are going good. It's like starting over from scratch. I think once I get to 10,000 subscribers, I might even be like motivated and start actually believing that this could work out again. Cause I've had to grind on a whole bunch of other stuff. Anyways, I'm just doing what I'm doing. I'm doing a uh, class tomorrow on the Elite Video Club. If you ever really want to get the get, get the good stuff and hang out with the DTM on the live Zooms, and you get half-price consultations also, um, and you get to be part of the um, Children of the Light WhatsApp support group. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff on the Patreon, the Elite Video Club. We're going to be doing some uh, study courses, you know, that are going to, they're worth like thousands of dollars, but it's going to be like 39 bucks a month. It's like a no brainer. I'll introduce that soon. I've been in the middle of the most gnarliest stuff, dude, but I'm kind of coming out on the other end. I'm still in the middle of it, but I'm, I see what God is doing. It's like refining you. And at first it sucks, but then you're like, okay, I'll grow up. I'll mature. I'll allow you to purify my heart. It sucks, okay? I'm waking up. <laughs> Growing pains, you know? But I'll be a much better, more mature man through this process. And that, for that, I'm grateful. Because I I didn't even know I wasn't a real man. Because the whole society is a bunch of goof nuts, man. They don't teach you how to be a real man. A real divine man. And uh, the right woman can do that for you. She'll trigger it at least. And then it's up to you to get your act in gear. You know. So anyways, God bless you. Thanks for watching the video. Mmm. That is going to be good when it's cold. And you dig it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to these videos if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below. And go check out the description box. Maybe there's something in there that you would like to see. Peace.